Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help me promote my channel and to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Also, if my videos are important to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. By the force method, determine the support reactions, make RB and RC as the redundant forces. E is constant. Moment of inertia of AB is I, while BC is 2I. So this is I and this is 2I. So let's solve this by double integration again. And we remove supports B and C so that it becomes a cantilever beam so that we can analyze delta B and delta C as shown in the figure. So by statics, we can solve for reactions at A, 20 times 6 plus 30, that's 150 upward. And the moment here, which is negative, so it is counterclockwise, 20 times 6 times 3 plus 30 times 12. And that is 720, total 720. Then let's section, let's extend only for portion AB because for portion BC the the moment of inertia is 2i. So in this section here, I call that x and that's for the second section later. So EIY double prime equals 150x plus 20 times quantity x minus 6, x minus 6 over 2, so 10x minus 6 square minus 20 times x times x over 2 or minus 10x square then minus 720 this moment. So EI Y prime AB is equal to 75 X square plus 10 thirds X minus 6 cube minus 10 thirds X cube minus 720 X. There is no C sub 1 because this is fixed. The slope at the origin is 0. S deflection also at the origin is 0 so that's why there is no C sub 2 also. Integrating again EIYAB is 25x cubed plus 5 over 6x minus 6 to the fourth minus 5 over 6x to the fourth minus 360x square. So actually we can now compute delta B when x is 8. So for the second uh, section, e, e moment of inertia is 2i. Y double prime BC is 150 times X. Then minus moment of this load. I'm not extending it because it's a different equation. There's no need. So 20 times 6. Then the moment arm, this is X minus 3. That distance is X minus 3. Then minus 720. Then minus 30 times X minus 12. Because that is 12. Then divide everything by 2, EI Y double prime BC is 75X minus 60 times X minus 3 minus 360 minus 15 X minus 12. Then integrate, EI Y prime BC is 37.5X square minus 30X minus 3 square minus 360X then minus 7.5X minus 12 square plus C sub 3. There is C sub 3 because our origin is at B, and there is also C sub 4. Then EI YBC equals 12.5 X cubed minus 10 quantity X minus 3 cubed minus 180 X square minus 2.5 X minus 12 cubed plus C sub 3 X plus C sub 4. So we then note that the slope at B is continuous, so the slope in portion AB is equal to the slope in portion BC. So we equate EIY prime AB and EIY prime BC when X is uh, 8 so that we can solve C sub 3. So 75 8 square plus 10 thirds 2 cube minus 10 thirds 8 cube minus 720 times 8 equals 37.5 8 square minus 35 square minus 360 times 8 then plus c sub 3. 
solving for C sub 3, C sub 3 is negative 1, 4, 1, 0. Then also when X is 8, uh, AIYAB is equal to AIYBC. The deflection is delta B common for the two, for the two equations of the elastic curve. So 25, 8 cube plus 5, 6, 2 to the fourth minus 5, 6, 8 to the fourth minus 360 times 8 square equals 12.58 cube minus 10, 5 cube minus 188 square plus C sub 3 which is negative 14, 10 times 8 plus C sub 4. So from here we can solve C sub 4 equal to 4010. So having found C sub 3 and C sub 4, we can now compute delta B. AI delta B equals into this equation 25 8 cube plus 5 6 8, 2 to the fourth minus 5 6 8 to the fourth minus 360 times 8 square. You can you also use YBC to solve for delta B set X equals 8 here, but this is longer because of C sub 3 and C sub 4. So EI delta B is negative 13640. Then when X is 15, then we can only use this equation to solve for delta C. You cannot use the first because it is only for AB. So EI delta C equals 12.5 times 15 cube minus 10 times 12 cube minus 180 times 15 square minus minus 2.5 times 3 cube then plus C sub 3 which is negative 1410 times 15 plus C sub 4 which is 4010 so solving for delta C delta C is negative 3 to 800 over EI next we apply unit upward load at B then at C later to solve for FBB and FCB. So the reaction here is one downward and the moment is, is positive clockwise, one times eight. So one and eight positive. Then let's section up to that portion. But we still have two equations. So EIY double prime AB up to this portion is, is 8, then minus 1x, then plus 1 times x minus 8. EIY prime AB equals 8x minus x square over 2 plus 1 half x minus 8 square. So EI YAB is 4x square minus x cube over 6 plus 1 fourth x minus 8 square. So EI FBB equals 4 times 8 square minus 8 cube over 6. So in this section, the moment EIY double prime is 8 minus 1x only. Then the integral is 8x minus x square over 2. So that's why EIY AB is 4x square minus x cube over 6. There's no C sub. 3, uh, no C sub 5, there is no C sub 6 also because it is a fixed support. So FBB is equal to 512 over 3 EI. Then at C, EI, E times 2 IY double prime BC is minus x plus 1 times 
uh, x minus 8 for bc and divided by 2 ei y double prime bc is 4 minus 1 half x plus 1 half x minus 8 integrating ei y prime bc is 4x minus 1 fourth x square plus 1 fourth x minus 8 so we recall from the preceding slides that these were the results delta b and ei delta c as well as fbb and these were the differential equations for the proportion slope for ab and for deflection for portion ab and this time we Continue by evaluating FCB by setting x by setting differential equation for BC. So EI y prime BC is 4x minus 1 fourth x square plus 1 fourth x minus 8 square plus C sub 5 in this equation. So EI y BC equals 2x square minus 112x cube plus 112x minus 8 cube plus c sub 5x then plus c sub 6 when x is 8 then y prime a b equals y prime b c when x is 8 so 8 times 8 minus 8 square over 2 equals in this equation, 4 times 8 minus 1 4 8 square plus C sub 5. So C sub 5 is equal to 16. Then when X is 8 also, YAB is equal to YBC to solve for C sub 6. So since YAB is delta B, sorry fbb 512 over 3 if you evaluate that then we just equate it to this equation here 2 times 8 square minus 8 cube over 12 plus 16 c sub 5 times 8 plus c sub 6 so c sub 6 is negative 1 to 8 over 3 then we can also solve fbb as well as fcc so if we will just evaluate fcb when x is 15 into this equation here so 2 times 15 square minus 12 112 15 cube plus 112 7 cube plus c sub 5 16 times 15 plus c sub 6 negative 1 to 8 over 3 so fcb which is equal to fbc is 1184 over 3 ei we now uh, set up the equation compatibility equation later sorry later let's now apply unit load at c to compute fcc fbc is expected to be 1184 over 3 also so the differential equation in this section ei y double y double prime ab is because the reaction here is one downward and the moment is one times 15 so 15 this time so for portion AB, which is up to here only, is uh, 15, then minus 1 times X. So EIY prime AB is 15X minus X square over 2. There's no C sub 1 and C sub 2 for portion AB because it is a fixed support at A, at the origin. EIY AB equals 7.5x square minus x cube over 6. So that's the equation. You verify that FBC is equal to uh, 1184 over 3 by setting x equals 8 into that equation. Then AI FBC is 7.58 square minus 8 cube over 6. So that verifies that FBC is really 1184 over 3 EI. Then for EI Y double prime BC, E times 2I Y double prime 
bc equals 15 minus 1 times x minus 8 quantity 1 times x. So 15 minus 1 times x only. Divided by 2, so ei y double prime bc is 7.5 minus x over 2 or 1 half x. The great thing, ei y prime bc equals 7.5x minus x squared over 4 plus c sub 7. The great again, so ei y bc equals 3.75x squared minus 112x cubed plus c sub 7x plus c sub 8. Then equate for y prime ab and y prime bc. So 15 times 8 here, 15 times 8 minus 8 square over 2, or 8 square over 2 is equal to, into this uh, equation, slope the same at x is 8, 7.5 times 8 minus 1 fourth of 8 square, then plus c sub 7. So C sub 7 equals 4, 4. Then they had common deflection when X is 8. And that is FBC 1184 over 3 is equated to here X is 8. So 1184 over 3 equals 3.75 8 square minus 8 cube over 12 plus C sub 7 which is 44 times 8 plus C sub 8. So C sub 8 is equal to negative 464 over t. That 1184 over t is expected to be FBC, or if you want to solve that, you evaluate this when x is 8, which we already evaluated this one. That's why we get we got 1184 over t EI for FBC. And we equate it here, because the deflection when x is 8 is common for that two. Then, Having found C sub 8, we can now compute FCC by substituting into YBC, X is 15. So EI FCC equals 3.75, 15 square minus 15 cube over 12 plus C sub 7, 44 times 15 plus C sub 8, negative 464 over 3. So FCC is equal to 6407 over 6 EI. The compatibility equation, therefore, equals FBB, RB, FBB 500 joule over 3 RB plus F, uh, CB, RC, FCB is equal to FBC, which is 1184 over 3, then times RC equals positive deflection at B because we transpose this to the right. So 13640 equation 1. The second compatibility equation is FBC RB. So 1184 over 3 RB plus FCC which is 6407 over 6 R sub C equals 32,800. Solving these two equations simultaneously, we get RB equals 61.18 one kilonewtons and R sub C equals uh, 8.104 kilonewtons. Then by statics, we can find RA 80.715 kilonewtons and moment at a negative 108.992 kilonewton meter. So I will leave this to you to solve for RA and moment at a which is negative just assume that moment that day is clockwise.